Broad Street, a sunny November afternoon. We are about ready to see the 47th annual Patriots Day observance. We've had it at the venue today with a beautiful luncheon and speaking engagement by Mad Max Sergeant Mac Mullen. And now we're ready for the parade sponsored by the Patriots Association and the Etowah Tourism Department. 47th annual Patriots Day observance. I'm Harry Butler, along with State Representative District 28, Mac Butler. Mac, we're going to have a good time here this afternoon. Absolutely. We couldn't have a prettier day to, to recognize and honor our local girls. About 80 degrees here in the bright sunshine, and we're ready for the first unit to come marching down Broad Street. They'll start at 7th Street and march all the way down to the River Bridge and turn and disband at the uh, behind the Edwald YMCA. So stay with us now. We're waiting on the first unit to come roaring down Broad Street. The 47th Annual Patriots Day Program, starting earlier today at the venue over in East Gadsden, and now on a sunny November afternoon, the Etowah County Sheriff's Unit Motorcycle Unit is starting the annual Patriots Day Parade. What a grand time downtown Gadsden, Alabama. And Mac Butler, State Representative District 28, you just got sworn in today. I did this morning, yes, sir. And you got to go to Montgomery tomorrow. Tomorrow. But today, here is the Litchfield Middle School Marching Band of the well, Color Unit. Well, uh, that's ROTC from, the, uh, from the Gadsden, Gadsden High, High, ROTC Color Unit. Good looking group. Sound off. Sound off. One, two, three, four. That's a great sign from. About 68 years ago at Fort Jackson, South Carolina, when I first heard that song. Found off one, two. Yeah, I got ahead just a moment. Our next unit coming down Broad Street will be the Litchfield Middle School Marching Band. Litchfield from East Gadsden. My wife's a proud graduate of Litchfield. Back when it was a high school. The Gadsden Etowah Patriots Association, the City of Gadsden, the Etowah County Commission, the Greater Gadsden Area Tourism, and Gadsden Etowah Chamber of Commerce all joining in and sponsoring Patriots Day in Gadsden, Alabama and for the giant parade downtown. And the Grand Marshal is supposedly coming and we don't know who that is. There's Mayor, Mayor Craig Ford right there. Mayor Craig Ford, just inaugurated. Hello, Mayor. Just inaugurated yesterday, I guess it was, the new city council taking, uh, taking office. And they're promising great big new things for the city of champions. That was the largest inauguration I've ever attended for a city official. And, De Mo and, and uh, this morning, at your swear-again ceremony for you and Mark Gidley for District 29, you had a packed house at the courthouse. We did. And we were... every judge, with the exception of one who is on vacation in Florida. And we were proud that our new mayor was there as well. And Craig Ford was there too. Craig is a captain in the National Guard. Yeah, long, long, 22 years yeah, serving. Long, long. And he's the first new mayor we've got for the city in 16, 16 years. years right. German yeah, Guyton. I, and I served with Craig in the house, and uh, I know he's going to do a great job. German Guyton had that office 14 years. Steve Means before him for a number of years. And right now, who do we have? Gadsden Middle School Tiger Band. Yeah, 
Weston Middle School. And here the Glencoe marching man. Seventh through the twelfth grades. These sons go rolling along. That's the old army song that the Glencoe folks are playing. And now we're coming up our sixth unit this afternoon. The Cub Scout Pack 151 and Boy Scouts of America's Scout Troop 151. They're out of the Southside United Methodist Church sponsorship. Good looking group there. Now, Joel Haney in a red and white styled, uh, 1956 style Thunderbird is here in tribute to Sergeant Ola Lee Mize, a Medal of Honor winner from the police auction Colonel. in Korea. Colonel. Colonel. What did I say? Sergeant. Sergeant. <laughs> I'm sorry. Colonel. Ola Lee Mize. His uh, great grandson is riding in the and the parade in his memory, too. Billy Ruth, the widow, was honored at the Patriots Day luncheon earlier today. Joel Haney, the father-in-law of Colonel Mize. And coming up next will be the Gesson City High School ROTC color guard. What? Actually, it looks like Southside High School coming. They're a little out of order there. Looks like that's the pride of Southside. The pride of Southside coming up. Matt, uh, Harvey, they're going to be playing the Navy song. Uh, director. What? what? The Pride of Southside, yeah. yeah we're, the Pride of Southside is on us now. And? Yeah, they went by a while ago. Is this the James uh, Garden chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution? No, they went by. And yeah, they went by. Them. Here's the Southside High School Marching Band, the Pride of Southside. And Southside Marching Band. The director, Matt Harvey's grandfather, was on the destroyer Edward Armstrong back during World War II. And uh, so they're playing the Navy song in uh, honor of uh, his great grandfather. televised band, high school band, 
in the southeast. They were recently on Fox and Friends. They were featured at Talladega for the spring race and uh, done a great job there. In the middle of the uh, Navy song, Anchors Away, they changed over to the Navy hymn and uh, played that, all in memory of Matt Weaver's uh, grandfather. And the sirens blasting, Mac, who's coming? Well, we got South Southside Police Department right there. They've got a couple of canines in there with them. Here comes Sardis High School, the Marching Lions from Sardis City. 85 members strong. They are an award-winning group. A medicist right there. Brenda does a great job with it, those kids. 85 members. Here the Inhabit Home Health and Hospice Group. A couple of vehicles and 10 people involved in the parade as they come down broad. We got the EMA coming up right there. Josh Tanner and Mark Golden driving the vehicles for the EMA, Deborah Gaither in the third car. And there's the Gaston Bulldogs marching band. Gaston Bulldogs. We should have had Ray Estes, Bulldog fan number one with us here on the broadcast this afternoon. 24-hour bug got him, and he's not here. Mary, we miss you. But your bulldog marching band sounding great as they come down Broad Street. Gerald Maxwell, one of the leaders in that group of uh, American Legion Post number 322, inviting all veterans to join that group. Gerald's office at 801 Tuscaloosa Avenue. Be glad to talk to you about it. That's Gadsden City High School coming up, March's band. 210 members of the Titan Marching Band. They performed across the United States and in Hawaii. I thought Hawaii was in the United States. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, they're going to be playing the Air Force theme song when they come by here. 
But they're a good-looking group of young men and women. The Titan Band from Gadsden City High School. And you know, I miss the old days when we had the Litchfield High School, the Emma Satchel High School, and, and the Gadsden. My alma mater, Gadsden. And now we all put it together. Substance abuse prevention. And there is Knight Rider right there. The Knight Rider. The Jaguar. Job Corps. Dad's in Etowah County Job Corps coming by. The Jump Corps unit doing a great job. They train young people. And the Etowah Blue Devil Marching Band coming by. The blue and white young ladies in those uniforms, the white boots. followed by the Agency for Substance Abuse, a group of uh, out of Oxford, Alabama. They're in a full-size truck. American Legion Post from Atala, Alabama, post number 71, just crossing the uh, stripes here on Broad Street, and then followed by the uh, substance abuse people from uh, who work with prevention of substance abuse. There's our Coast Guard Auxiliary here. The Coast Guard Auxiliary followed by yeah. the West End Patriots. Yeah. West End Patriot Marching Band. Next up is the Gadsden Fire Department. Talking about West End Band going by, the band director, Jonathan Powell, has a doctorate. Maybe the only doctor band director I know of in Etowah County. 
Down in fire department in that big red truck. And who is coming here? Emma Sansom. The Emma Sansom. Emma Sansom Middle, Middle School, School Band. Band. Seventh and eighth graders. Another year, and many of these kids will be moving up to Gadsden City High School and joining the Titan Marching Band. Gadsden State Community College the Veterans Upward Bound program. In honor of veterans attending school, learning new things in their old age. Gadsden City, Gadsden State. Uh, Gadsden State Community College, Circle K, Pi Beta, Student Support Services, Ambassadors, here they come. 35 people led by Brandy Hyatt. The American flag flying at 90 degrees. 80 degrees sunny November afternoon. You know, Mac, there's been a great crowd up and down Broad Street, as far as we can see on both sides huge, of the street. Huge crowd. And they all got here about an hour early. Yeah. Great turnout. Big long float coming by there. And that's sketch the state as well. Said they were in a long Jeep. 35 people. Courage and commitment. Gadsden State Community College. I see Hoax Bluff in the distance yeah, coming they're, up. They're on the way. You know, during our luncheon today, we were pleased to visit with a former county commissioner, Willie Brown, 89 years old, retired U.S. Army sergeant, spent 10 years as a county commissioner for District 5, he was a 2001 Hall of Honor recipient at the Patriots Day Luncheon. Great to see Willie and his daughter, Valerie. I remember Commissioner Brown. We got a, a building in town named after him as well. Yep, over in the maintenance department. Here's a green machine. Playing the Stars and Stripes Forever. Oaks Bluff High School Marching Band. And the Hoax Bluff Marching Majorettes. Melissa Dozer leading 30 of these young ladies. And there's always got to be one golf cart in every parade, and here it is. And the Etowah County Sheriff's Department closing out the parade, our 38th unit, a gorgeous November afternoon. Fraternal Order of Police Lodge number two with a sign on that. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our second annual Patriots Day Parade sponsored by the Etowah County Tourism Department, the Etowah County Patriots Association, the City of Gadsden, the Etowah County Commission, the Greater Gadsden Area Tourism Department, and the Gadsden Etowah Chamber of Commerce.